guys, how's it going and welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to be releasing my Game Week 34 squad selection. But first of all, I do want to review how we did in Game Week 33. Now as you can see on screen, we finished Game Week 33 on 87 points. The average was 58. That was decent uh, green arrows. Going just outside now the top 1.3 million. So my hope of getting into the top uh, million by the end of the season remains possible well and truly i've gone the right way about it the only thing i could have done was gone barkley to son to have more points but it's one of them really 87 points you, you, you gotta be happy with 87 points when you have it just 58 it's one of those but what did it, it was a goal against uh, city so yeah again you're always going to lose points on the bench, so 87 points. I'm quite happy with that. Now we need to move on to game week 34, and it is a double game week for some teams, but as you can also see, other teams like Spurs blank. So first of all, first, I'm going to swap the players around who are playing, and it's a uh, double game week uh, people, which I have straight away there. And now that straight away gives me one, two, three, four double game week players. Not too bad, there's not that many teams that play twice in game week 34, but it's summer. Um, just showing you guys the fixtures as well. So, there's not many teams who play twice. And some of the teams, like Everson, I wouldn't really want to bring any of their players in right now. So, it's one of them double game week. Sheffield United is another one I wouldn't want to bring in their uh, players, to be totally honest right now. Right. So, we have two players who are yellow flagged. We've got Pedro Poro, however it's pronounced. Uh, but I want to keep older him because he's got a double game week in 35 and a double game week in 36. So, I want to keep older him. I want to wait for more information on him and see where we go from there. The other one is Haaland, who apparently went off uh, injured in the last game, at least limping or something. And. He's got some decent fixtures like game week 34, 35, 36. He's got a double in 37 and then a 50 50 final game. So, again, I want to wait for more information of what's going on with Harland before I think about moving anyone on. It just seems the most logical thing to me. So, transfer time. And um, I want to kind of like prepare myself for upcoming game weeks and one person I've noticed who is a bit of a weak link at the minute is Bailey he's been playing reasonably well well he had a bit of a bad spell there but he got a goal uh, in game week 33 and an assist in game week 32 but he has no double game weeks left uh, whereas virtually every team I've got a double game week some have even got two double game weeks still this guy has got none so to me, it makes the most sense to move Bailey on. And that's what I'm going to do. So I've been thinking about who I wanted instead of Bailey. And I was looking at uh, Chelsea midfield. Now, Pound Coins injured. Even if he wasn't injured, I can't afford me 6.8 million. I've only got 6 million in the bank. But Gallagher, I watched him against Everton. He was doing well. And he has been kind of ticking over so I know he's got Arsenal game week 34 that won't be easy but then surely he's going to get something against Villa or Spurs and then he's got another day, get double game week in 37 so Conor Gallagher's still got two double game weeks to go and I just feel this is owned by 0.6% of people it's a good random differential person to have in the team save me uh, 1 point not really not like it's going to matter but uh, it does help and I think that uh, prepares me for Garrick 35 a little bit as I'll probably captain uh, some so it's just about having the correct people in your team at the correct time so uh, we're doing that now I'm just having a quick look who else is in the squad and Barkley against Brentford is kind of tempting I'm not going to lie See, because this is the one who's not got any double game weeks, but 
his fixtures are interesting. Like Brentford, he might get summer. Wolves haven't been exactly brilliant lately. He might get summer. Everton's not playing well. West Ham, probably not there. Fulham, they've been well defensively, but who knows. But yeah, the temptation to swap Gallagher and Barkley around is strong. I think I'll leave him as my first reserve because we've got Haaland. We don't know if he's going to play. So I might just keep him as a spare anyway. Going to be swapping the keepers around because um, I think Onana's got a much better chance of keeping a clean sheet against Sheffield United than Leno does against Liverpool. Uh, that's just how it feels to me. Okay, on to uh, captain picks. And come on, it's got to be Saka. Wolves are not playing exactly brilliantly. Um, so we have to go there. And to be fair, Chelsea had not been playing too well until last game week where they won 6 0 against Everton. Now, it was Everton, they're not exactly the best of teams, but could give Chelsea some um, motivation, should we say, to go on. So it's one of those. Saka's definitely capable of scoring in both, but it's one of those. I, I'm just going to. It being Saka, I, I can't help but just back him. Solanke, uh, I was also considering as captain, but he's not been on as good as form as he was early on in the season. Uh, and he's got Aston Villa. They're both playing Wolves, and they're both, you know, I think, you know, they're both capable of scoring against Wolves, but Villa have been just that little bit better lately to me. So, uh, just for that reason, Solanke's going vice captain. And. Before I move on, one good thing as well, still with this squad, is I'm trying to get into the top million. I've still got my bench boost. I've still got my triple captain. I think my bench boost and triple captain are both going to get used shortly. But not yet. <coughs> it's obviously, triple captain, you wait for a better game, double game with what I've got. And the bench boost, like, you know, seriously. <laughs> Don't even need to even go there. But yeah, this would be my squad. But I want to have a look in my mini league first. Uh, I don't think it's possible to cap, uh, catch up to Fantasy United. I think his gap is just too much. Um, I think we're well clear of Cameron Sorber as well. So, to me, in my mini-league, I just want to cement P4. If I can um, make more ground towards Fantasy United, like if Fantasy United does have a bad game week, then maybe it is possible to still catch him. But right at this moment in time, I'm just looking to cement to P4. How's, what kind of squad has he got? Oh, so he's only got two flagged up players. Haaland, like I have. And Ant. Okay. He's got two people who doesn't play. Right. Should be interesting. Who've he got? Palace. Okay. That's fine. So, again, I think we're looking P4 in my mini league. That just looks the most sense to me. Uh, but yeah. We got um, four double game week players for this game week in the squad. I've made moves, so I've got an extra uh, double game week player for both game weeks, 35 and 37. I think that makes the most sense to me. Granted, the 35 double game week isn't exactly the best, but, you know, it's one of those. It, it, it's preparing you, it's getting you in the right uh, space to, um, you know, extra space to get more points, and that's what we need. Anyway, I've just realised I've been waffling on a lot longer than I like to. I like to keep these videos short and sweet because you've got other people who will talk to tw for 20 to 30 minutes and they'll look at all these different scenarios. Whereas I prefer to keep this video short and just go, this is my team, this is the changes I've made, this is my strategy. Keep it short for those who don't have the time to watch 20, 30 minute videos or don't, simply don't have the attention span for it, to be totally honest. So I do want to thank everyone who's tuned into this video. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed it. If you have done, make sure you hit that like button. If you are a first time viewer here, make sure you subscribe and then hit the bell. As that way you'll be notified of any future videos and live streams for myself. And I'll see you in the next one. Nice one guys.